Hello guys, so I created this quick video on how to put a hologram of a button in three different platforms using the Mixed Reality Toolkit. First of all, HoloLens 2, second Android and finally iOS. Hope you enjoyed it. Hello everyone, uh, I've been working on the last couple of days on Mixed Reality Toolkit. Um, my idea was to get a hologram running on HoloLens 2, iOS and Android. This was a fun journey, I have to say, but I created a tutorial and people from different places asked me to record a video, so here I am. First of all, I'm going, I have Unity installed on my machine. As you can see, I have version 2018. You can create the same tutorial using 2018, but you have to set a couple of items different to this version. Uh, I'm not going to cover though that version in this video, maybe in the following one. So, um, as you can see, I have the modules installed to develop on Android, iOS, and uh, HoloLens too. So, we are going to create a new project. I'm going to say the name and make sure that 3D is enabled. Let's create our project. Okay, now we have our project empty, as you can see it on my screen. First, we will create a HoloLens 2 uh, button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import our Mixed Reality Toolkit Foundation to our project. Once you get this uh, window, just select Import. We are not going to select uh, different options for the moment. Since this is a quick demo, we will import all the files. Okay, once uh, Unity imports all the Mixed Reality Toolkit package, you will see the following pop-up, in which uh, Mixed Reality Toolkit is going to check that all uh, the items that need to be enabled or disabled for your projects to work in HoloLens 2 um, are applied. Um, one tip, if you're going to build uh, for iOS, in my case, I'm going to I'm going to disable the MS build for Unity. If you have it enabled, you will see a bug that Unity is still trying to fix, in which you will see a, a bunch of errors when you try to open your project. So I'm going to disable it. It's not going to affect our project since right now I'm going I'm building this tutorial uh, on Windows for first HoloLens tool. An Android and then we are going to move to Mac to build it for uh, iOS. I'm going now to apply the changes. Okay now what we're going to do is to switch platforms for the one that we are going to work on. First of all as I said we're going to work on a HoloLens 2 so I'm going to choose the universal window platform and I'm going to switch the platform. Once the plans form was switched, uh, you will see again our Mixed Reality Toolkit pop up. In this case, it's going to enable or disable other functionalities. In this case, as you can see, our capabilities for uh, HoloLens 2. As I said before, I'm going to disable them as build and I'm going to apply. Great. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is to I'm going to add our Mixed Reality Toolkit scene. Uh, the, the toolkit has already some, sorry, this usually applies when you make some changes. We have some build, already built scenes which are configured to work on, on our HoloLens 2 or HoloLens 1. In this case, as you saw, I just selected the Miss Reality Toolkit uh, option in our menu and I added one of the scenes. Um, in your inspector, you are going to see that you have default Mixed Reality Toolkit Configure Profile. In this case, you can select uh, HoloLens 1 or HoloLens 2. As I said, we are going to work on HoloLens 2. So once I select the, that profile, I have everything already set and ready to work with our HoloLens 2. We have a couple of objects already created by 
the Microsoft team that you can use. In this case, we're going to use the button that is already pre-built by uh, Microsoft. It's, it is in the SDK that is imported. So uh, this is the pressable button Holodus tool. As, I, as you can see, I'm searching on my project and it will display all the different buttons that are available. We are going to use the first one. So now we're going to drag and drop it to our scene. Once you do that, it asks you to import the TMP essentials, which are the styles and fonts and all the necessary things from TextMex Pro. So once we import it, uh, we will see the button as we want it to be displayed. Okay, great. It also has the option to import some extras, but we are not going to use it in this situation. Now, um, let's put our camera in front of our button. So I'm going to move and play around until we get exactly in front of our button. As you can see, the text is pretty big. Uh, you can trick with the button, but what I did for it to work perfectly, I just deleted and imported it again. And then I'm going to set the seat distance to 0 0.2. This is going to place our um, button a little bit in front of us. So here it is. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It already has some um, animations on it that are pre-built, so there's no need to do it again. Now we want to taste it in our HoloLens tool. I'm going to build our scene so i'm going to make sure i have everything ready and let's build it i'm going to create a folder in which i'm going to put our build and that's it great so now that we finished building what we will have is a visual studio project uh, in the folder that we wanted the build to be created in once we open that project, we will see uh, the files in Visual Studio. If you do have a, a HoloLens 2, you can then publish to your device. In case you don't, you are going to, you can use, sorry, your emulator. So let's try it with the emulator then. Okay, then if we open our Visual Studio project, the one that only the exported, we, you are going to see these uh, three projects as part of the solution. Uh, if you try to search on your debug uh, the emulator, you won't see it unless you set a startup project your universal Windows app. Once you set as a startup that project, you will see the HoloLens emulator. So you change it to run it in there and let's try our app. As you can see, the emulator just started. Let's try on. Let's wait until we get our app published on it. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we have our button running on HoloLens. Um, it's pretty easy to use the emulator, so don't be afraid test it, you will be able to play around a little bit with it. Great, so now we will publish our project to Android. For first, what we are going to do is first, let's switch our platform. Okay, now uh, for us to start working on Android, we need to import some packages. One of them uh, is our provider package. As, <coughs> sorry. As you can see, I'm going to import providers.unityr package. This will let us uh, work with our foundation and our kit. As you can see at the bottom, we have an error that is setting that we need uh, our foundation for our project. Now I'm going to uh, go to my packet manager 
and in here I'm going to enable the show preview package. For Android, we are going to we are going to import our R Foundation. In this case, I have, uh, as I said, Unity 2018. For this version, we are going to work with our our foundation version 1.5.0 preview 6. So once we select that preview, we are going to install it. The next thing we are going to import is our R Core XR plugin. In this case, we are going to use the version 2.1.2. So the one that is going to appear is the one that we are going to import. Okay, we will install now. And that's it. So we have all the items necessary for us to work for Android. What I'm going to do now with, with uh, the scene that we are working on is I'm going to select the Mixed Reality Toolkit. In here we have uh, our HoloLens 2 configuration profile. What I'm going to do with this profile is I'm going to clone it by selecting Copy and Customize and then Clone it. Next I have uh, the camera option as you can see in here. And I'm go also going to clone the default settings for our camera. Then we have our camera settings provider. I'm going to add another settings provider and I'm going to put in the type option our Unity R camera settings. Perfect. I have everything ready. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my build settings and I'm going to build our APK. So I'm going to create a folder in which I'm going to set it then Android. Okay, so if we go to our folder and to our Android, we will see the button APK application that we can install in our device. Let's try to move this application to iOS. We are going to do the same. We are going to switch platforms. Okay, now we will have to update our packages uh, since iOS development does not use the R Core XR plugin. Instead, um, it uses the RKit XR plugin. So I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to install our RKit XR plugin. And now we're going to install our RKit XR plugin 212. Okay, and finally, there's only one left thing to do. I'm going to uh, edit project settings. Uh, player and then I'm going to uncheck the option strip engine code which you are going to find it under optimization and that's it so uh, for to, ex to test this on iOS I have installed a virtual machine with uh, Unity and also Xcode and then I uh, managed to test it on my iPhone because I don't have a Mac right now. But anyways, this is everything you need to, to test for having your same button up on HoloLens 2, on iOS and on Android. Okay, finally, so this is the app that is running right now on my iPhone. As you can see, there's a button and we can see the hologram in 3D.